Now, some of you might recognize this from the live stream. Um, if you want to download, it's available on Patreon, but let's add some crowds. So with the population add-on open, now I can pick if I want them to walk or stand around. I'm gonna have them stand around for now. And let's select one of the various actions. We got communication, blah, 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 blah. Let's just go communication. Three different types of people, sports, business, and casual. Let's pick our person, Jack, standing around. Let's just import him. And then from here, I'm just gonna put him in a spot. So if we kind of like put him here-ish, there we go, Matt. And then press play. You can kind of see that he's got a very basic animation on him. Let's actually check the mesh. It is very low poly, which is absolutely awesome. Some really good details though. So tab into edit mode, you can see what it looks like. But uh, I can also do walk and run. So if I select walk, business, let's go into casual. This guy, yeah, Eric, you can do a bit of a walk. Let's select one of the walk motions and he can just, you know, just a fast walk, mate. From here, I'm gonna click import. And then all I gotta do now is draw a path of where he's gonna walk. So he's gonna walk that way. Now we can obviously edit the curve, just press W and there we go. So now we can actually change his path manually. And if we come back, we can see what we've done there. Now he's got a bit of a fast walk. Let's maybe delete there and there. And there we go. We've got motions coming in, but we don't want to do that for absolutely every character, do we? No, we don't. So into crowd. Now I've already got a mesh selected, uh, which is this one here. This is a plane that I've created that I've just put under the ground a little bit. Now there are five modes you can select from, um, but I've just got classic mode for now. I've already added in five characters, but let's pick one more, uh, Patricia. You can be in daily life and you can, not a football stand, uh, just look around, okay? And we'll add that person in. With that selected, I'm now gonna go import. And just like that, all our characters have come in and if we press play, yeah, we've got a few characters now, so it'll slow down a little bit. But if we don't want so many characters, we can obviously come down here and change the density. Let's go density max, let's go 0.2 and we bring that right down. We can as well select a target that they can all look at. So for instance, that there, look at target, and now they're all facing that one instance. But Marco, you ask, what if I want a lot of people walking together? <laughs> so let's go into classic mode and follow curve. I have to remove all these people because they've got, because they've got standing animations. So if we remove all them and we change to a walk, okay, Patricia, you can do a standard walk and we'll go add person and let's go ahead and add in a few other people and we click import once we're ready once that's finished importing all i have to do is draw a line boop, and now we've got a wave of people walking through the scene uh, let me just press w to get out of that tab into object mode I mean, back, yep and now you can see that we've got a whole bunch of people walking through my computer's struggling at the moment, which is slightly annoying. But and now, ugh, this character doesn't look good. This character doesn't look good. So let's just change the seed a little bit. And you, sir, we're going to change this seed because I don't want two of the same people standing in the same spot. I can see this guy's just going to walk straight into him. So I'm just going to keep changing. There we go. Lovely. That should be fine. And then kind of like as we scroll through... It's gonna look like a busy place. Sick. 